Stunt performers risk their lives making actors look good. Why don't they win Oscars? I kind of agree with this. If the Oscars meant fucking anything anymore. Yeah, many decades. Well, the, the, the whole point of the article is that there has been a push as of late to uh, make stunt work eligible for Academy Awards. Um, I don't know exactly how that would work, but I mean, just like I the assume most, it could work. The craziest stunt. They'd have to do something like that. Like who pulled the fucking craziest stunt this year? Yeah. Um, <laughs> can it be more uh, in memoriam Oscars, like posthumous Oscars yeah. at that well, point? They, they probably worry about encouraging people to try more and more extreme right. stunts. And then p- people obviously because people die doing stunt work in movies quite often. So, yeah. So I mean, like, get severely injured. Wouldn't this moral argument like these fucking stuntmen don't have any agency. Let them do it, dude. Bring back the gladiatorial arena where you're at it. Let Damn, these dudes dude. sign off. I want to watch, dude. I want to watch some heads get lopped off. I am willing to die for my art. Yeah. And dude, when we become that typical like uh, fascist American state, Paul, then like you'll be given an opportunity. It's like, Paul, you're accused of thought crime. You know, It'll, cr- it, crimes against state sodomy. You dude, know, it's such a Paul, good get, solution. Get Paul a fucking sword, dude. Fight your way through the I arena. I don't want to go in the arena. I just want to. We're going to have to, dude. I want all these the- big, beefy, brawlic dudes walking around looking for a fight and looking for something to get angsty about to have a place they can go and really blow off steam, man. But you know what's going to happen is those dudes are going to get good and then they're going to want. They're, they're like, you know what? It's not interesting. Like sometimes they they will fight, but they're gonna be too valuable. So they're gonna like put people like you, like the schlubs and the cr- criminals. Man, that won't be fun at all. It's I'll gonna just be weeping and pissing. It's myself gonna be running, man, dude. <laughs> well, he ain't gonna run far. Yeah, I won't get far. I'm like no <laughs> waddling, man. Oh, <laughs> 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 All right, tune in next week. Doesn't sound like it would have much staying power. Maybe it would though. People people do hate fat neck beards, so maybe they would watch one of yeah. us every week. Oh, they be under get, every hard. week you get to see a new fat, disgusting neck beard. Get the fucking ever loving shit beat oh, out of dude, him to death I by a fucking meathead. Dude, I, I'd be a great produced section too. They'd have a thing where like they show you how insufferable they were. Like, look, this was Paul in his normal life, and people are like, kill him. Yeah, boom. And they delay it too. So it's like everybody not- knows. That Greedo shot first. Oh, what's going on? You know? Yep. He's but thrown they, into the arena. So the, the the kill couldn't happen quick, though, dude. It couldn't just be like, they're dead. Because, I mean, obviously, you're right, Paul. Like, you against some, you know, burly dude is just going to kill you in, like, two seconds with a sword. So, like, they have to prolong it. Like, yeah. Paul, like, fight him on this, this course or something. Like, so you can maybe fight to get better weapons or something. But you're going to die anyways. Yeah. Make it a little more interesting. Yep. I couldn't agree more. Well, I don't know how we got to there, but okay. Wisconsin high school cheerleaders received awards for biggest breasts, but at banquets. Wow. What the hell, dude? A Wisconsin... A Wisconsin. A Wisconsin. A Wisconsin. A Wisconsin. A Wisconsin high Meanwhile, school. Meanwhile, it was Thompson, then. Uh, a Wisconsin high school has reportedly come under fire for a cheerleading award ceremony last year that saw some of the teens win accolades such as the Biggest Booby and Big Booty Awards. Appalled parents contacted the American Civil Liberties Union, and on Tuesday, the group sent a warning to the uh, Kenosha Unified School District that it might file a lawsuit over Tremper High School's mox award ceremony. The New York, like, is Wisconsin just like out of the loop? I mean, I guess it's Wisconsin. But, like, there's, like, a big, like, me too kind of thing going. Like, who thought this was a fucking good idea for a second? Apparently, there are still some country-ass, small-town enclaves and shit that have not gotten the message that... Because I'm telling you, this wouldn't have flown when I was in high school. Yeah. In the 90s, there was already this massive, you know, movement against this type of shit, especially for high school girls. Who even put on this thing to begin with? Was it someone in the school? Uh, Yes, it it was. It was actually somebody from the school. The a- yeah, the ACLU accused the cheerleading coaches at the school oh. of making inappropriate comments towards the students and claimed the district was enabling sexual harassment, the Times reported. Uh, the group called on the district to take appropriate action against the coaches. So it's the cheerleading coaches that created this award show um, to... <laughs> Be like, you got a big, you got big titties, you got a big old butt, you got it all, girl. I I mean, I personally have felt like handing out some awards for some titties and asses that I've seen, but I've never gone all the way and done it, you know. (laughs) I keep that private in my head. 
especially when you are a coach at a high school and for the teenage, award yeah, is teenage for teenage your girls. teenage yeah. girls, yeah. like, like you definitely got to keep that. This is like, contained. how did you possibly ever think that was a fucking good idea? It, this might be a good idea with people who are legally able to consent. You know what I mean? So like, just carry parent, some trophies around and be like, girl, that booty deserves a fucking Oscar. Listen to this. Go. Parents who were at the event. So there's parents there. Wow. So they're in front of these girls. I thought this was just like maybe like a private thing. Like in a all, locker room or right, something? Where they all just no. got together and they were laughing about it. No, this is like... It's like a public thing. And biggest boobs goes to... And here's the funny thing. If you think this is for males... It says below that it's the woman's name is Patty Utick. Utick. Well, I mean, you know, you know what, you know the whole thing about like high school uh, coaches, right? Like, oh, girl, women coaches. Oh, should I? Mm -hmm. Whoa, Paul, are I mean, you, are I'm you just, stereotyping? I mean, I'm not. I'm just saying, man. All right, so uh, so Trump is fighting for LGBT rights around the world, Paul, uh -huh. and you're making light of us. So you're saying the coach is a lesbian, Paul? I didn't say about? that. You put it's words in my, in my mouth. No, it's a, but you put, where I were just, you going I with that, Paul? Said, you know where were you thing. going with it, Paul? Hold on, hold on, hold on. So here's the parent. Here's a parent's remark. I looked around and thought, did that just happen? If my daughter would have won one of those awards, I would have absolutely been rushing the stage. It was so wrong in so many. Why didn't you rush the stage anyway? That like, kind of uh, sounds like she's salty that her daughter didn't yeah, win. Yeah, it, it kind of sounds like, my daughter has way bigger boobs. <laughs> like, <laughs> look, at how the dare you? I demand a recount. Um, um, so anyway, yeah, that happened. Um, wow. Uh, Wisconsin. Oh, wait, go back down. They were explaining some of the context of it. Okay. So it says, uh, they were originally picked them out because of things that cheerleaders are required to do every day. They're always getting butts in their faces and other body parts. So I guess her defense of it was like, well, they're always lifting each other and they always got asses in, in each other's faces and stuff. So it was just a funny little joke. It's a little joke. Okay. Okay. Can't people laugh anymore, guys? Um, yeah, I what don't is know. your sense of humor? I just feel like Wisconsin, like you, you guys need Wisconsin. to just, you guys need to catch up a little bit because this is you're like you're like forty or something years back at this point. Like at least move up to like the eighties or something. And the award for pinkest butthole goes to Paul's ego. <laughs>